And while President Obama was speaking in Washington, America's top diplomat was in the Middle East drumming up support for the U.S. plan to confront the Islamic State. Our Park Ji-won has more. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry visited Baghdad on Wednesday, a matter of days after Iraq's new Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi was sworn in. Meeting with the new Iraqi leader, Kerry vowed U.S. support for the new government's battle against Islamic State militants. We are prepared to take, not only with respect to ISIL, which is critical, and your own military's commitment to reconstituting itself and to being prepared to take the fight to ISIL, uh, but also your commitment to the broad reforms that are necessary in Iraq. Kerry stressed that IS is a vicious terrorist organization, and the U.S. and many other countries will help counter the threat posed by the group. There is literally no place for their barbarity in the modern world. And this is a fight that the Iraqi people must win, but it's also a fight that the rest of the world needs to win with them. And it's a fight the United States and the rest of the world need to support every single step of the way. As Kerry was meeting high-level officials Wednesday, three car bombs exploded in eastern Baghdad, killing about 17 people and injuring dozens of others. Meanwhile, Russia's state news agency RIA Novosti reported of a possible nuclear threat by the IS militants. The news agency quoted comments by Andrei Novikov, the head of the Commonwealth of Independent States Anti-Terrorism Center, that suggested IS might have a nuclear capability. He said the terror group declared its intent to use nuclear weapons in June, and about 40 kilograms of uranium compounds had been stolen by insurgents from Mosul University in Iraq in July. However, atomic experts at the UN do not consider it to be a major threat, stressing that it would take years for IS to develop nuclear weapons. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.